we are going to talk about Maxwell Boltzmann distribution curves. Uh, this was named out of after two gentlemen in the 1800s, two scientists. Let me show you how to interpret these. There's one trick that usually catches kids. Here's the main thing that you need to know. For these curves, the area under the curve is the same. Okay, area under the curve is the same, which means we have the same number of atoms. Uh, let's look at this first one, and we'll, we'll take time to talk about both. So notice on the x-axis is energy, and energy is increasing. And over here, we're showing molecules. So the higher the peak, um, you can see the, uh, the molecules, okay? Um, now what you do want to remember is that if I counted all the molecules under the purple curve and under that blue curve, they would be the same, same number of molecules, same area under the curve. What this shows us is the energy for these particular uh, molecules. This um, is actually going to be speed. So how fast these, um, you could be thinking how fast the molecules are moving. It could also be temperature. This one I made specific, this one I just made really generic. Um, but let's just keep it generic for this first one, energy. Um, so if you look at the apex, the very top, and pull that down for each of these, that top shows the average energy for all of the molecules under that curve. So notice for the blue curve, the average energy hits right there. For the purple curve, the ener average energy hits right here. So this lower curve, it actually, the average has a higher energy. And here's the reason why. When you have um, all of these atoms, they all don't have the same identical energy. And if I were to draw them as vectors moving, some would move really fast, and some would move um, really slow. Um, and so you have this distribution of low energy atoms um, to the left, and then the high energy atoms over here on the right. And the more energy you have, the greater the distribution. You'll have more low, more middle, and more high. Whereas this um, first substance, the blue one, it has a lower average energy, which means you're going to have more atoms down here in the low, some in the middle, and fewer at the high energy. Um, what trips up students is they see this lower curve and they're like, oh, lower curve, it must be lower energy. No, we're just showing the distribution of all the atoms and their energy. Up here, we have the really, really high energy. Down here, we have the really, really slow, low energy. Um, the average, that's what you want to look at, is that um, top of the peak, the apex, pull that down, say, oh, this curve, the purple substance has a higher energy. 